Hi, I'm Chris Bradford, author of the Bodyguard series. Here is an exclusive extract from Bodyguard Target, which features my lead heroine, Charlie Hunter, as a bodyguard protecting the famous teen rock star, Ash Wild. Okay, scrum time, Big T announced, then opened the stage doors. Outside, hundreds upon hundreds of fans were packed like cattle behind metal barriers. They shrieked in ecstasy when Ash emerged, the noise louder than a dozen funfairs. Charlie stayed close with Big T, her eyes scanning the crowd as Ash worked his way along the line, signing the fans' programs and posing and smiling for countless selfies. By now, Charlie was accustomed to the deafening screams and crazed antics of wildling fans. But the task of protecting Ash in that ear-splitting chaos had not become any easier with so many new faces. And everyone had the potential to be the maniac who'd promised Ash no more encores. A pack of photographers, including Gonzo, vaulted the barriers and rushed towards them. They scuttled around the rock star with their cameras clicking and flashing, a constant strobe of white lightning. As the pack pushed and shoved for prime position, a telephoto lens hit Ash in the face. Ow, watch it, he cried as his baseball cap went flying. Keep back, Big T growled, using his bulk to shift the cameraman out of their way. A loud metallic clang caused Charlie to turn on her heel. A barrier had toppled over and the fans spilled onto the walkway, all madly trying to get their hands on Ash's lost cap. And when the rest of the barriers collapsed, hordes more fans rushed forward. Time to make like a shepherd and get the flock out of here, said Big T, his voice harsh in the security team's earpieces. The Pez team closed ranks and spearheaded Ash through the crowd towards the awaiting SUV. But with every step, the crush of fans grew greater and the determination of the paparazzi intensified. Ash, look this way, called a photographer, half blinding him with a blaze of shots. Ash shielded his eyes and kept his head down. Running scared of your fans, taunted another pap. Gonzo bobbed up, his finger pressed on auto shoot. Any more accidents? Ash glared at the rap faced photographer. Stop bugging me! he cried, flinging his water bottle at the man. The bottle struck the photo lens, spraying water everywhere. Paparazzi cameras flashed, capturing the moment. Hey, that's assault, snarled Gonzo, unable to suppress his triumph at antagonising the rock star. That's assault with a weapon. You're having a laugh, Gonzo, said Big T. Ash was being nice. Thought you could do with a drink. I'll sue you for damages, Ash. Gonzo shouted, ignoring the bodyguard. Big T blocked the pap's path, then bent down to his ear level. And I'll have you arrested for trespassing and illegal bugging, he hissed. Don't know what you're talking about, snapped Gonzo, waving his camera in Big T's face. Look at this, it's ruined. Are you going to pay for it? The bodyguard laughed. <laughs> Hope you got insurance. As Big T and his team fended off Gonzo and the rest of the paparazzi, Insults flying thick and fast. Charlie continued to escort Ash towards the SUV. But more and more fans pressed in, slowing their progress to a crawl. Charlie's mobile pinged and vibrated. Her first thought was the intruder. Had the device caught someone sneaking into Ash's suite? Despite the crush, she managed to slip the phone from her pocket and glance at the screen. But it was just a text message from Blake. Too busy with Ash to call? Charlie swore under her breath she'd forgotten to phone him back, and no kiss. That didn't bode well, but she was in no position to reply to him now. When Charlie looked up, a tall Hispanic lad had blocked Ash's path. With a cut-off t-shirt and gold chain, a buzz haircut and a shadow of a moustache, the boy didn't look the typical Ash Wild fan. You are eyeing up my girl, he accused. Ash looked perplexed. Sorry, was I? The lad nodded. Pulled her on stage. No one touches my girl, you pumped up little pop star. Without warning, the jealous boyfriend launched a fist at Ash's face. Ash stared at the approaching knuckles, frozen like a rabbit in headlights. A millisecond before the fist struck its target, Charlie shoved Ash aside and deflected the punch with her forearm. The lad glared at her. Out of my way. 
As he tussled with her, he attempted to throw another wild punch at Ash. Left with no choice, Charlie palm striked him in the face. There was a crunch of bone and a spurt of blood as his nose broke under the impact. The boy staggered backwards to the horrified squeals of the fans and the inevitable flash of the Paps cameras. Stun, then run, thought Charlie. Come on, she said, hustling a shocked Ash into the awaiting SUV before speeding away. That is from Bodyguard Target. I hope you enjoy the ride.